All right, so today what we're going to work on, again, we're going to go over four modules from random that are pretty useful. One is extremely useful, and the other three um, are kind of sort of useful. So first one, obviously, we've got to import random. I'm going to import random as r. I forgot that. So then r dot, we're used to r dot ran int from 0 to 100. This will give me a number from 0 to 100. Does it include 0, Livy? Yes. Okay, Christine, does it include 100 or does it only go up to 99? Uh, I think it goes up to 99. It goes up to 99? Uh, your answer is right, but your reasoning is wrong. It does include 100. So if we, and to prove that, all we have to do is from 0 to 1. Right, so it does pick one or zero. Matthew. It doesn't do it in ranges. Correct. If we do, now the next one, which is similar to this one, is rand range. Right now, I can only get a number from zero to 100. Oops. Now, what if I wanted to have an even number from 0 to 100, a random even number from 0 to 100. I could do, you know, if I could do some if ran range divisible by 2 equal 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 1 rent. Oops. Print this again. But like it, it, you know, I could do that, but that's annoying. Well, what if I want it? Like, it, it, uh, uh, can you do it with rand int? Yes, it's easier with rand range. With rand range, all I got to do is r dot rand range from zero to one hundred two, and this will only give me even numbers. I'll never get an odd number. Because it's starting at zero. Zero is the first number I can use. What's zero plus two? Two, I can use two. What's two plus two? Four. So what it's doing is just like for x in range zero to 102. Zero to 102. Oops. So that makes it always an even number. Yep. So it will give us these numbers, right? It will randomly select from this group of numbers right here. Actually, let's do this. Let's go and is. So those are the numbers it will randomly choose from. Rand range is the randomized version of range. Any questions on that? Notice it does not include 100. If I wanted to include 100, what would I need to do, Caleb? I, need to do 102. I could do 102 or 101. Yeah. Do you guys have questions on rand range so far? Okay. The next one is random dot choice, which you guys used in your quiz. And this will, whatever is in... Whatever is in that string, it will randomly select. So this is what should have been in your quiz. No, it's just randomly selecting one thing from here. Now with random.choice, if you have a string, it will pick a character in that string what if I wanted to pick a name from names? We'd have to introduce a list. So that's why I kind of waited a little bit to do random.choice up until now, because you need to know how to use or what a list is. Um, I should have waited to do, do, to do choice at the end. Um, there's two more, r.random. 
will give you a random decimal number between zero and one. So this might be good for a multiplier for health, right? If you get punched, you know, the random 0.2 times 50 or whatever is how much you get damaged. Uh, again, this one isn't too common. One thing I want to let you guys know that Python itself specifically says do not use R, do not use the random module, and I think I went over this when we started with random, for encryption or security purposes. There's a different module, I can't remember what it's called, um, but if you go to the random module page on uh, python.docs or python.org slash docs, it tells you which one to use. Don't use this for any security purposes at all. Little disclaimer. Matthew. Did you have a question? Oh, I'm sorry. And then the next one is r dot uniform, and this one will give us a float in between two numbers. So as opposed to random rand int gives us a random integer between two numbers. Uh, uniform, I don't know why it's uniform. Why not like rand float? Um, it gives you a random decimal number in between or random float in between the two parameters. So what you guys should in your guys' code or whatever over here, I would do something like r.choice and gives a random character from string. r.random random decimal between zero and one r dot uniform random decimal number between a and b r dot what's the other one we did ran range And just do something like this so you have some notes that you can refer back to as opposed to trying to like memorize all this so just make a little little script little and you can put this you know anywhere uh it will help you immensely van um so uh ran range is like randon except it doesn't use the top number it doesn't use the top number and i can give it intervals Okay. So similar to range function, similar to range function and ran int can produce, uh, I don't know how to say this, doesn't include top number. Can we try running and see what happens when you do R ran range? Ran range between A and B will give us an error because I haven't defined A or B, but you can. This is kind of what this time is. I'm going through and then I want you guys, I probably should have said this at the beginning. I want you guys to type these in too so you can kind of get a feel of how they work. Okay. Uh, between A and B does, doesn't does include B allows, allows, uh, I, I don't know the wording, allows the, can skip numbers. Yeah, can you explain range range again? Yeah, range range will produce a number between A and B, not including B. Um, if you don't, if you don't have C, if you have C, it will skip that number of numbers. Okay. So, it's if. Like <laughs> so let's say I want a random even number from 0 to 10 right I start with 0 I want to include 10 so I have to go one above it and then how do I determine whether or not something's even like how I throw a 2 in there but it all depends on what I start with if I start with 0 I if I start with 1 it would give me odd numbers if I start with 0 or 2 it'll give me even numbers although 0 technically isn't an even number but 
So that's going to give me 4, 2, 8, 6, and 10. What two numbers can I put in here to give me only even numbers? Nope, that's rand range. Oh. Rand int will only give me an integer between two numbers and that's it. So you can't get anything you can do with rand int, you can do with rand range, but not everything you can do with rand range, you can do with rand int. Rand int just basically Rand int is basically rolling a die, whereas rand range is I don't know. Is it like randomly picking from all those numbers? Rand uh, range? Rand range produce. Yes, it picks from all those numbers. Okay. So you could basically, if you want to know what what possible numbers your rand range is going to pick from, you can just go for x in range of not rand range, but a range of whatever. Mm -hmm. Print x, I'm going to do end is, and it's going to pick from those six numbers. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yeah. So again, anything you can do with rand int, you can do with rand range, but not everything you do with rand range, you can do with rand int. Libby? So like with the rand, rand one, it would pick like any of those six, but like the rand range is like all six, or? Yeah, rand, random, rand range will pick one. Range is all of those numbers. Yep. Yes. Yeah. All right. Last but not least is random. There's R dot choice, and I know we went over that already. Again, this one's very useful because if I want to pick a random between heads and tails, what we had to do before was we had to have it randomly select a number one or zero. If it was one display heads, if it was zero display tails. Well, now what we can do is using a list, we can just tell it choose between heads and tails. So it's a lot easier, cuts down. So now you can randomly choose between, um, and there's this is actually part of the test, so I would pay attention. I mean, you should always be paying attention, but you can have the computer play rock, paper, scissors against you. As opposed to randomly pick a number. If that number is one, computer chose rock. If it's two, computer chose scissors. If it's three, computer chose paper. You can just say computer equals random choice between these three things. I'm just saying the reason why you're in the bracket. Yes, and we're about to get into that. So you're asking like the user like enter like rock, paper, scissors, and mm -hmm. if they enter like so would you say like one, two, or three, like enter one, two, or three? Or you could say type in rock, paper, or scissors, or select one, four rock, select two, four scissors, select three, four paper. Doesn't matter how you code it. Okay. Um, but for the test, you will have to I will say use R dot choice to randomly select one. Um, but okay, so yes, like like uh, Christine said, the reason these are in brackets <clears throat> is because it's a list. A list, obviously you can't use list, so we're gonna use list one. This right here, actually I'm gonna stop the video so you guys can have random modules and then lists, so.